spelling ing endings. This video is brought to you by the following English learning websites. Look at the following words. Each is a verb with an ing ending, but they all have different spellings. Texting, making, winning, lying. Why do we spell them in such different ways? Well, there are five basic principles. We'll look at each one individually. 1. ING alone. 2. With silent E. 3. Doubling consonants. 4. IE endings. 5. Special cases. Number 1. ING alone. To make the gerund form of many verbs, we just add ing to the main verb and that's it. Verb plus ing. Working. Spending. Calling. Watching. Going. Playing. Eating. Raining. To simplify things, we're going to call the ing form of the verb, verb the gerund form. What are the principles for using ing alone? Do you notice any patterns? There are generally four principles for this. First, look at the endings of the main verbs. A. Consonant, consonant. Or, consonant, consonant, consonant. Sending, falling, watching. B. Vowel, vowel, consonant. Eating, reading, raining. C. Vowel, vowel. Seeing, playing, snowing. D. Vowel. Going, being, flying. Seeing double, no trouble. Let's look at each case separately. When you see double, vowels or consonants, just add ing. Two consonants, cc. At the end of verbs, signal that we don't have to change the verb at all. By double here, we mean two. They can be the same consonant or not. Call, fill, send, watch. With watch, there are actually three, or triple consonants. B. Double vowel before final consonant. When you see two vowels before a final consonant, you can just add ing to the verb. Raining, reading, roaming, keeping. Two vowels usually, but not always, signal a long vowel sound, so the consonant doesn't need to be doubled. B. Vowel, vowel, consonant. Example. It's raining, but I'm not complaining. I'm staying home, eating, reading, and sleeping. C. Double vowels. When a verb ends in two vowels, just add ing. Seeing, agreeing, cooing, booing. The letters y and w can function as vowels at the ends of words. Playing, saying, snowing, towing. C. Double vowels. Examples. Hmm. Do you agree with the following statements? Seeing is believing. Saying is playing. Knowing is showing. Actually, these are not considered verbs here, but they use the gerund form, verb ing, nonetheless. D. Single vowels. Finally, when a verb ends in a single vowel, we can simply add ing to make the gerund form. There are only a few words like this. Going, being, doing, undoing, skiing, trying, flying, applying. In this case, the Y is used as a vowel. D. Single vowel endings. Examples. What are you doing, Julius? You're going to break that. Be careful. I am being careful, Mom. 
Oops. Two. Silent E. At the end of some verbs, you will see a silent E. Silent E can affect the pronunciation of the previous vowel, making it long. The I in ING performs the same function, so silent E is no longer needed. When a verb ends in a silent E, you can drop it before adding ING. Make, make, ing, making. Ride, ride, ing, riding. Cope, cope, ing, coping. 2. Silent E. Examples. Reading and writing is fine, but reading and driving is not. Silent E. Occasionally you will see a word with a silent E in which the pronunciation principle does not seem to apply. However, the spelling principle still does. Live. Living. This one has a short I sound. Have, having. This one has a short A sound. Move, moving. The O is used as oo. Taste, tasting. There's a long A and two consonants. In each of these words, you will need to drop the silent E before adding ing. 3. Doubling consonants. When a verb ends in a short vowel before a final consonant, you need to double the final consonant before adding ing. The double consonant protects the short vowel from changing its sound. For example, cut, cutting, swim, swimming, win, winning, wrap, wrapping, sit, sitting, hug. Hugging. Doubled consonants. Note these examples. Silent E versus doubled consonants. Hope. Hoping. Long O with silent E. Hop. Hopping. Short O with doubled consonant. Win. Winning. Short I with doubled consonant. Wine whining, long I with silent E, whining as in the expression whining and dining. Think of the doubled consonant as protecting the short vowel sound. Remember the bulldogs? They're like double consonants protecting the short vowel sounds. Jogging, planning, kidding, betting. Notice how it all fits together. Clean, cleaning, long vowel sound, no doubled consonant. Spin, spinning, short vowel sound, doubled consonant. Wait, waiting, long vowel sound, no doubled consonant. Hit, hitting, short vowel sound, doubled consonant. double consonants, and stressed syllables. Sometimes, in words with more than one syllable, double consonants are used after the last syllable of the verb, if it is stressed, but not if the syllable is unstressed. For example, control, controlling, stressed final syllable, travel, traveling, unstressed final syllable, open, opening, Unstressed final syllable. Forget. Forgetting. Stressed final syllable. 4. Verbs ending in IE. Luckily, there are only a few of these. When a verb ends in IE, we change the IE to Y before adding ING. Lie. Lying. Die. Dying. Tie. Tying. Untie. Untying. 5. Special cases. Actually, these verbs follow some of the rules above, but they still seem strange. Ho, hoeing. 
two vowels, silent E is not dropped. Die, dying, two vowels, silent E is not dropped. I, eyeing, three vowels. Sometimes you see it written eyeing, that's also okay. Age, aging. This is a difference between British and American English. Dying here is not the same as dying as in approaching death. Dying, D-Y-E-I-N-G, means coloring. Want to test your knowledge? Indicate whether the following words are spelled correctly or not. Take your time. If you need more time, pause the video. Let's check the answers. The words in red are incorrect. Actually, planing can be a word, but planning is commonly misspelled like this. Answers and pronunciation. See, read, and repeat. Seeing, skiing, hitting, biting, planning, dying, coming, raining, writing, beginning, wishing, smiling, changing, talking, making, Speaking, tying, closing, losing, listening, looking, dropping, typing, facing. Hope that was helpful. For more information, please check out our websites. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click the thumbs up icon if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.